And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Kabo, and today uh, I've got something new. I've got this. Now, uh, before I open it up, a uh, little backstory for anyone who cares. Um, so a little while ago, uh, I got contacted by a pickup manufacturer. Uh, they were going to send me some pickups. I said, sure, send me the pickups. A uh, set of humbuckers. And then I kind of looked around through all my guitars and I went don't really have that many humbucker guitars but guitars with two humbuckers um and the ones i have i don't particularly want to change the pickups out of so i thought maybe i should buy uh another guitar with two humbuckers just you know something something to do some fun to have you know it's fun to buy new stuff uh, and i started looking around and i got alex involved and alex is one of those guys when you tell him that kind of stuff you get uh i don't know five six 10, 20 messages from him a day <laughs> with links to eBay or um, Gumtree, which is, I guess, sort of like Craigslist in America and uh, or Facebook Marketplace to, you know, all these different guitars. Uh, for some reason, uh, one of the guitars I found that I kind of found myself drawn towards was a Jim Root Jazzmaster, the white one in particular. There was one secondhand going um, uh, not far from here. And uh, I kind of went, oh, maybe I should buy that. But I started kind of looking more and more and more around. And uh, there were some things I really liked about the Jim Root, but there were other things I really didn't like about the Jim Root. Anyway, long story short, I found one of these. And I believe this is possibly one of the last ones of these they had uh, available in Australia. So I bought this. So this is there's nothing sponsored in this video. It's completely bought. I bought it off Riffs and Licks Music uh, on the Gold Coast. Big thank you to Dario and all the people there. Uh, again, they didn't give me any special deals or anything like that. I just bought it off them. They were just really nice on the Gold Coast and they sent it up and it just arrived. And I thought I'd invite you guys along um, to unbox it and try it out for the first time. So, uh, it's not a Jim Root Jazzmaster, if I can open a knife up, uh, but it is along those lines. Um, I even did a, a Insta on Instagram, if you follow Instagram, I did a, um, I did a, 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 a poll, you know, in the Instagram, Instagram reels, uh, or Instagram stories, they're called, of whether I should uh, buy Jim Root Jazzmaster, and 89% uh, of the people said I should, but I didn't. So I bought this, let's have a look. Uh, Well, that was a fight. <laughs> Whew. I need a nap. Okay. Uh, it is a Fender. Uh, let's open this box up. I hope this is a bit easier to open than the other one was. Um, well packed riffs and licks music. Well packed. All right. <sighs> Very well packed. Okay, so it comes in a deluxe gig bag. So it's, this is brand new, uh, not secondhand. It comes in a deluxe, deluxe gig bag. Let's open it up. You guys can see it first. I'm gonna bring a chair up a bit so you can see it. All right. Uh, where is the zipper? Here. Let's do this for the thumb. Oh, hang on, let's not do this for the thumbnail. Let's get this out of here. All right. So we've got a deluxe gig bag. Is there anything in the deluxe gig bag? Straps. Ooh. And, uh, oh, and Allen key and stuff. All right. Now let's get it out of this. Uh, now there's a the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. Now it has a matching headstock. And it is very exciting. Wowzers. It is a jazz master, but it is one of the uh, made in Japan, and it's ve oh, very reflective. 
made in Japan, uh, modern jazz masters. So you're gonna see my desk and computer here. There's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> there's a camera, there's the window, uh, very, very reflective in my desk. You can see on my desk, uh, and the mess over there. Um, so it's the, uh, Japanese modern jazz master. Uh, now I saw this and I saw, now funny thing with this is, okay. And with the color, cause it's sort of a metallic color. That's actually quite a cool color. It reminds me of uh, old Gretsch guitars. Um, it's a, uh, uh, what is it called? Jasper Olive Green, I think. Now, hang on, let's take this off. Now, in the photos, when I saw photos of it, still photos, you know, like by Fender, it looks very, it looks like, you know, sort of khaki pants color. Um, and I kind of went, nah, it's not, not my thing, because there were black ones. And I kind of went, oh, black, I don't, I don't know. That's what I liked about the Jim Rood, that it was white, actually. There is a white version of that, too, but that's the hardest to find. Um, and this doesn't want to come off. Um, anyway, so I saw the color in the pictures, and I kind of went, meh. That's a bit sort of meh. Uh, but then I saw a video. Now, there aren't many videos of this guitar, but I saw a video of this particular guitar in this color. And once you see it sort of reflect in the light, it's it's quite a pretty color and like i said it sort of re reminds me of like an old kind of gretsch sort of color um so it's got a compound radius neck i think it's nine and a half to 16 or 14 um inch radius uh two of their humbuckers stop tail i don't think there's any coil split or anything no it's just that three way toggle switch um fender branded lock and tuners uh, made in Japan, almost in tune. Uh, so let's 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 let's. There's also that. I'm gonna take that off on here. Now that's a cool looking guitar. So I mean, if you watch the channel, you know I'm into jazz masters, uh, and I just thought, why not get one that's kind of cool and kind of limited. Um, because I don't, they're not super widely available, these ones. Um, but I reckon now let's plug it in and try it out. So, um, ooh, I've got to, while I break stuff, turn this on. Um, cause I've got my tuner here. Okay. So it sounds, tune, action's a bit. Highs and extraits. Uh, yeah, needs maybe needs a little setup. I wonder if the neck adjustment must be in there because it's not up here. Oh no, it is here. Cool. Um, no, I mean I'm going to put heavier strings on it anyway. But let's quickly turn it on. So I'm going into uh, via the Stro Peterson Strobe Stomp HD tuner that's also on my desk into the Mostronics amp switcher, which has the angle. Iron ball is he selected, and from that it goes into the two notes torpedo live. And these are the IRs I'm using, which are selection plus IRs. And there's a uh, uh, affiliate link in the description below. If you click on that, you don't have to buy the IRs I'm using, but if you buy any IRs via that link, you'll help out the show. Um, now. <laughs> Humbucker. Maybe just to input gain up a bit. I think the strings have seen better days. Middle position. Gee, very bright. I like that actually, that's... Can we just... Because the action is quite high. I know it probably needs a better setup and this is probably not... People will say, oh, don't do it like that. But I'm just gonna try a little bit. Can I just go... It's sort of sunk into the body a little bit, but can I go down a little bit more? Yes. 
Let's give it two turns. I think it needs to go down a fair bit. And I think it can handle it quite well. Now that's much better. Quite a funky sort of sound uh, in the in-between position. I mean, just that. See, that's always the thing. I used to work in a music shop. And I know what it's like when you have, you know, 100 guitars on the wall. You can't kind of look after them all. But I find higher end guitars, actually, and, and I mean, my boss, when I used to work at the music shop here, they kind of used to get angry at me for wasting time on doing this sort of stuff. But I mean, all it takes is just lower this. And then it's much easier to play, in my opinion. I think, um, <laughs> I mean, on a totally unrelated note, we did some, Alex and I did some videos for a local music shop here a little while ago, um, uh, uh, where we just did, just for the channel, we just quickly went through some of the acoustic guitars, and they had some of the Sheeran by Loudon guitars there, which are not cheap guitars, uh, you know, in the multiple thousands of dollars, and uh, they were so horribly set up. Um, I mean, we could literally, anything above, you know, playing like anything up higher, the action was way too high and it was just hard and unpleasant to play. And we sort of mentioned that when we took it back to saying, look, it's, they're not, and plus also with the action that high off, you're over fretting, so things go out of tune. Um, and, you know, they didn't take it too well. You know, the people at the shop, they kind of, criticism I always find especially when you have guitars that are not cheap and I mean this is not a super expensive guitar but it's not cheap just spend the two seconds lower that a little bit and set it up properly so you can play it easier that's just my personal opinion on the thing but yeah I know what it's like because I used to work in a music shop but plus I mean it's a typical Fender thing with the strings way too light for my liking and a neck pickup It sounds great though. Mm. Neck is beautiful actually. Um, frets are okay. I mean, and it's not super rolled off. Um, but it seems alright. But it's a comfortable neck. And surprisingly how kind of bright and single coil-esque the neck pickup is. And the bridge is really like. But if we're going to the dirty channel, it's way too light to strings. I, I use 11s and 12s, so they're. I think they're probably nines on here. They're very light. <laughs> nice though I mean that's literally all it took is I mean I would even go as far as going like one more half turn and I mean like I said I will put heavier get strings on it <laughs>
me. And the string, like I said, they're way too light for my liking. And I think, so is that recessed as well? No, that's not recessed, but the bridge is recessed. So the bridge actually goes into the body. I think this, if it's possible, needs to go down a bit just to change the brake angle a bit. Or do the old Jazzmaster thing where you just change the, uh, you put a shim under here to give it a bit of an angle. But I mean, it's with heavier strings. It should be fine, but it is a very, very flat brake angle here because the, the bridge needs to sit that low into the body that it's, but I mean, it's a tunematic and heavier strings. Anyway, that's uh, so first impressions. Um, the neck is very comfortable. Um, the fret ends are, yeah, maybe a little bit, but they're all right. They're pretty good. Um, it's somewhat rounded off. It's The neck is good. I mean, all up. It's pretty good. Uh, it looks great. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Again, super reflective. And it's one of those things, like I said before, pictures don't do this color justice. It's like, um, what was the color? Was it Texas Tea? that Fender released a little while ago, which is sort of a black, but with like a coppery kind of shimmer in it. And you see the pictures and it just looks black, but then you actually see one in real life and kind of, when you reflect it in the light, you can see that sort of coppery shimmer in it. Now with this as well, it's sort of a um, metallic-y kind of color. And like I said, it, again, when I used to work at a music shop, we used to have a lot of Gretsch guitars and it reminds me of that sort of 50s Gretsch color. And I think it's called Jasper Olive Green. But it's quite a pretty colour. Um, so that's this guitar. Um, yeah, first impressions, I dig it. Um, and there'll be more videos with it. Most likely pick up changes at one stage, or maybe not, I don't know. But this is a guitar you'll see uh, more on the channel, uh, you know, in the coming weeks and months and stuff. Um, so big thank you once again to Riffs and Licks Music down the Gold Coast, Daria, who looked after me there. Again, I'm not in any way affiliated with them i was just another I'm, I'm a normal customer i didn't ask for anything i didn't say I'm, i have a youtube channel i'm gonna promote you they don't know anything i mean if they're watching this video hi guys but you, they're watching it because they tagged them in it um fender didn't send me this uh fender i wish fender would reply to my emails but they don't um yeah so this is just a guitar i wanted to buy um i thought i spoiled myself i haven't actually like bought a more proper guitar for quite a while so this is a guitar I wanted to buy. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, if you have any of these uh, types of guitars, uh, if there's anything in particular you want me to do with it in a, in a video, upcoming video, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, oh, and if you have uh, watched this video, and if you're into this video this deep, uh, please make sure to subscribe and hit the, uh, the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Um, about 90% or close to 90% of all our viewers are not subscribed. So if you like what we do and if you want to find out more about this guitar or other jazz masters, <laughs> I'm a jazz master guy, what can I say? Um, uh, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and watch our videos and, you know, share stuff, tell your friends if you like what we do. Uh, yes, uh, Fender Japan Modern Jazz Master. See you in some videos in the future. Bye.